Okay, I've talked about how much to eat. I've talked about what to eat. And now I would like to talk about when to eat. Remember, they, these are all things that I do that have worked for me. Everyone is different. You have to try things for yourself to see if they work for you. So when I eat um, follows um, the pretty typical schedule. I wake up and then I eat right away within an hour of when I've woken up and then I wait another four to six hours, eat a second meal, wait another four to six hours and eat a third meal. And there's a fourth time when I eat during the day and that is right after I work out, I drink my protein shake. Sometimes even towards the very end of the workout, I will drink my protein shake. And this computer is kind of, uh, sorry, acting weird. I'm getting a new computer, by the way, so it's gonna get a lot better. This computer's from 2011. Um, I made some notes, I'm looking down, okay. So basically, I eat four times a day. That fourth meal is my snack of a protein shake. It's very important that, why is it doing that? <laughs> Zooming in and out. It's very important that um, I drink protein right after I exercise to make sure that my muscles get the nutrients they need to fully recover and benefit and grow from that workout. And if I'm having a longer workout, I sometimes even drink the uh, protein shake it's kind of towards the end of the workout while I'm still working out. I'll sip a little bit because I just feel like it's starting to go directly to my muscles and they're starting to use it right away. So that means that I have to have my protein shake made. Why is it zooming in and out like this? I'm sorry. I have to have my protein shake made before I go to the gym. And that leads me to my next very important point is that you really need to have your diet planned out ahead. And by diet, when I say the word diet, I mean you need to have your meals, everything you're going to eat and drink and consume planned out ahead. I would say plan it out an entire week ahead so that you have all four of your meals planned out for seven days in advance and you need to have that at your house and ready to go. Unless you work it out another way where you have some healthy eating places like you can stop at Whole Foods and grab a, a salad. When I lived in a bigger city I used to do that. i drive through the Pollo Tropical and eat chicken and balsamic tomatoes and black beans. That was a really great meal and then I could just drive by the Whole Foods and get a big salad with protein on there that would last for like two days but I can't do that now I live in a small town and uh, there's not a lot of healthy restaurants or uh, food establishments around so I really have to go grocery shopping and have the foods ready to go um, so that I can be successful um, because if you don't have the proper foods around then you're setting yourself up for failure really and to be honest diet what you consume is, for me at least, is the most important part of getting into the shape that I want to get in. Um, there's a couple of more things that I'd like to talk about, topics that I like to talk about before I start uploading videos from the gym. Um, one of those things that's very important to learn how to do before you go to the gym is to learn how to measure your heart rate. So that video is coming up and then right before I go to the gym, I'm going to film a video of how to prepare for going to the gym, what you need to take to the gym. Uh, that's it for this video. So uh, just some good points to, to getting started is know how much to eat, what to eat, and when to eat. Start with that. And then in future videos, I'm going to talk more about supplements and other details and aspects of diet and nutrition. 
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye from Everyday Adventures.